What is going on guys welcome back in today's video we're going to learn how to detect and analyze memory leaks in programs especially in C programs. So let us get right into it. Alright, so we're going to learn about memory leaks in today's video. We're going to learn how to create them proactively by using some C code. We're going to write some C code to proactively cause memory leaks. Then we're going to see how we can analyze or detect them using bell grind. And we're also going to learn how to fix them, how to prevent them from happening. Now, first of all, what are memory leaks in the first place? A memory leak is what happens when a program allocates RAM, allocates memory, allocates space and does never free that space even though it's no longer needed. So we allocate it. We use it, we no longer use it, but we keep it allocated even though it should be freed. That's a memory leak and this is something that we want to prevent from happening. This is something that is not professional coding uh, behavior or not the result of professional coding. We want to avoid memory leaks from happening. And for this, we're going to start here with a simple C program. We're gonna say here, include stdioh. We're gonna write a simple hello world program first. Uh, so int main, and we're going to say here, um, just print F, hello world, backslash N, and then return zero, and then just a closing bracket. And now what I will do is I will compile this file. And I'm going to say this is going to be main dot out. And now we can run this, this is going to be a very simple hello world program. I hope I'm not blocking anything here with my camera. Essentially, I just typed GCC main C dash O main out, and then I executed main out. You can see hello world. Now the tool that we're going to use today in order to see uh, to detect memory leaks to find them is Valgrind. Valgrind is a Linux command line tool. So if you want to run this on Windows, uh, you will have to use the, the uh, Windows subsystem for Linux, the WSL. And then you can type sudo app install valgrind. In my case, this is already installed, as you can see. And once you have that, you just type valgrind dot slash main dot out. In this case, you can see here one allocation, one free, whatever that is, I'm not sure, maybe the printf statement, maybe the import, uh, but essentially zero errors, no leaks, everything's fine. So we don't have a problem here. Now let's go back into the file and try to define a variable a equals zero. And then let's say we want to print this variable a now I'm not sure if this is going to change anything to be honest. Well, let's see. So we're going to say here GCC and then Valgrind again, okay, it doesn't change anything. We don't have uh, more allocs or less allocs. Um, but we can play around with the code here. For example, I can say uh, character and then I can say string, it's gonna have 20 20 characters and this is going to be hello, for example. And then I want to say um, percent s backslash n str. So we want to print the content here. And if I now compile and do valgrind, uh, also, we cannot really see a difference. But now let's proactively call uh, cause a memory leak. So we're going to allocate space dynamically, we're going to say malloc and we're going to then not free this space. So we're going to say instead of doing this here, we're going to say that we want to have a character pointer str. And this should be malloc and we want to malloc 20 here. So the basically the same thing. And we're going to say string copy, we want to copy into str the string hello. So the result is the same we have a uh, the text hello stored in a character array, but this here is a pointer this here is uh, an array statically sized array and this here is dynamically allocated. So now all I have to do here is to compile I think no we have a problem. Oh, I think for string copy we need to include string dot h and I think for malloc we need to include std lib dot h. But other than that, this should actually work. And now if I do valgrind dot slash main out, you can see we have some problems here. You can see two allocs, one freeze. And you can see here definitely lost 20 bytes in one block 20 bytes were lost, we allocated 20 bytes, we never freed them. Now, let me briefly show you here that I can fix that by just saying the way you should do it. Free 
str. That's all I need to do in order to fix that memory leak. I can just, oh, first of all, I need to compile. I can just do that. And you can see here two allocs, two frees, nothing lost. So this is how you can prevent that. Whatever you allocate, you free. Whatever you allocate manually, you have to also free manually. Um, if you don't do it, you get a memory leak. And also what we can do here is we can, uh, if we get a memory leak, we can get some more details. So here, first of all, you can see we have the option leak check full. So we can say valgrind dash dash leak dash check equals full. And then um, essentially it shows us here that this is due to malloc in main. So here we allocated, but we never free it. This is the information here. And we have a bunch of other tags, for example, the suppressed errors, if we have any, uh, can be shown with dash s. I don't know if we have any errors here. I don't think so. Uh, or actually, we do have an error here. But we can also add some more things. So we can say, uh, for example, not just leak check full, we can, sh uh, we can say show dash leak dash kinds equals all. And then we can say dash dash track dash origins equals yes, something like that. Uh, and then we get the most information, especially when we have some more um, problems, some more errors, we get the most information. This is the, the fullest command, probably that we can run here, but you can already see okay, malloc cost 20 bytes in one block. How else can we cause a memory leak outside of malloc? There are a couple of ways. But one thing that you can do, for example, is you can open up a file and not close the file stream. So you can say, for example, here, <clears throat> um, file and then f PTR file pointer is going to be test.txt. We're going to open in writing mode. And we're going to say f print f into the file pointer slash oh, not slash percent s and then hello world, for example, whatever. And now we don't close the file, we just keep it like that. Uh, and we compile this. What's the problem now? Uh, did I mess up something here? Oh, of course, this is equal to f open obviously. There you go. And now you can see we have some more problems. We have four Alex two freeze, even though we did only one malloc. And you can see here how it happens. Okay, first of all, this is the malloc from before 20 bytes lost here. But also you can see that in main, we call f open and in f open, there is a malloc and here we lose 472 bytes. This is a problem we won't we don't want this to happen. Uh, and this can be detected with Valgrind. So the idea is you write your program, you open it with Valgrind, you try to find all the, the leaks, you check, uh, you, you do the, the full leak check, and then you see, okay, this happened here, this happened here, and so on. And then you know what you need to free. So we can go here into the program, we can say at the end of the program, free str, and then f close, f ptr, There you go. And you can run this again after compilation. And you can see four allocs, four freeze, nothing lost, everything's fine. And the last thing I want to show you here, as far as I know, it should be visible in Valgrind as well. Let's comment this out again. Uh, what I can also do is I can say, for example, I can cause an error by saying, okay, here I have a pointer, and I want to do some string copy into that, even though I didn't allocate any space this should cause an error as far as I know. And this should also be visible in Valgrind. So there you go one error in context one of two invalid write of size four. Um, that's basically caused by this and you can see a lot more problems up here. So this is a tool that gives you pretty decent detailed insight into your memory leaks into your um, problems that you have into not freeing memory into uh, having errors into allocating and not freeing. So you can see exactly where it's happening, how it's happening. Um, by the way, one last thing that I want to show you here, this doesn't, uh, doesn't only work for your C files, this works for any executable. So for example, uh, or for any command for that matter. So for example, if I say, um, test.py is a file, and I want to say a equals 10 print a in Python, uh, we don't 
manage the memory manually. But what I can do is I can say here val grind python3 test.py and you can see the command that is executed is this here and we do have some uh, some allocs and less free than alloc, so we do lose some bytes but this is how you can do that also with other executables even though this is now a command so probably you want to do this with actual executable files not with python scripts ran via python 3 but you can run valgrind on executables and it's going to tell you what's the problem uh, how much bytes you lost, how many memory leaks you have. So this is how you can write professional C code without memory leaks. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.